Welcome back to Into the Radius. We're playing on an Oculus Quest 2 through virtual reality desktop. If you're not familiar with this game, it's based on a 1971 Russian science fiction novel entitled Roadside Picnic. That novel also inspired a 1979 film entitled Stalker and a 2007 PC game entitled Stalker. Before we get into it, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also, like, share, leave a comment. All that good stuff is appreciated. Let's get to it. Look at this. I didn't even notice this. We got a free med injector just sitting there and a patch that I think fell through the wall. That's great. So last time we took a trip to the swamp up here to try to find the SKS rifle, which we were told is in there, but apparently we, I don't think we made it to the right spot. I got new information that the rifle is up here from another stalker. So I'm not sure how we missed that. We definitely went up there. We definitely went by the village. So somehow we missed this whole section or maybe we just missed, missed that tiny entrance. I, to be honest, I don't think I remember this section either. It kind of depends on on what these parts are. If that's land, that's interesting. If that's just kind of swampy stuff, then maybe not so interesting. So this time we got to really try to make it, I guess, follow the easternmost shore of the swamp all the way to the top. Uh, we also have probably more missions to take on. I think I got an idea of what we're going to do. Yeah, species research is mimics. So we're going to do that one because there's mimics in uh, Balotki here and there's mimics in the block post. So it shouldn't be a problem getting a picture of a mimic. Uh, we can go up this way, take out the mimics, get a picture and then head over to the swamp or do the swamp first and then, and then take a picture of the mimic on the way back. Um, maybe get that out of the way first just because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, when you're kind of poking around in unexplored territory. So as far as supplies, we could use some more food. So uh, so let's do that, which is, what do we got here? Here's some. So what I like to do now that someone recommended is um, take the food off of the knife and put it into your pack. That way you don't need a knife to eat the food. That's a big piece because I have been caught out in the zone having all my knives broken and uh, unable to eat food even though I have it. So that should be plenty of food. We got three med packs. We got another can of food, which actually we'll just leave that here tourist tourist delight nice okay we've got an energy drink there we've got our tokarev as a backup we've got two packs of nine by 18 we've got six extra rounds for the tiger which is on our shoulder we've got three extra knives we could use Oh no, we got four extra knives. I think we picked one up, so that's good. We got our flashlight, we got our detector. Let's just make sure we're, uh, our magazines are full. That one's full. I was going to actually switch. Okay. I don't think we have another magazine for the OC33, but, but let's just check. Maybe we do. Oh, we do. So that's one. Are these all them? So I'll take one in better condition. That's PP91. This one looks like another OC. And that one's actually got some uh, some rounds in it. Um, so let's fill this one up. And uh, instead of bringing two extra magazines for the Tokarev, we're going to bring... We'll swap one of these out for another magazine for the OC-33. Uh, yeah, but I think 25-25, that should be good. Uh, 
probably going to run into, run into sliders, and we want to, because I think the other mission is a slider core. But this time we're going to aim for the head. So either with the Tiger or with the OC-33. Is that on full auto? It was. That's interesting. All right. Detector, probes. We got the Tiger. What's the condition? Tiger is in great condition. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Time is 22.55, so almost 11, which means we'll get some sleep and then head out. Uh, we have to buy a camera. We'll do that when we wake up. Actually, we'll just do that now. I'm humming and hawing about buying another magazine. Or sorry, not another magazine, another box of ammo. But uh, now that I say magazine, we just put in that extra magazine for the OC-33. So we shouldn't need another box of ammo. All right. 200 for the camera. That'll go up here. Our health is good. Our stamina should be good when we wake up. We'll just have a bite to eat and then we'll head out. So we're going to sleep to 1 a.m. I think is good. It's not a lot of sleep, but hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, we'll have an energy drink when we're in the zone. So species research, it wants us to go over there, but it's any mimic. So there's plenty of mimics over on our side. Um, so we'll do that. And then the other one, other mission we'll try to do while we're out there is get a mimic core or not a mimic core, a uh, slider core. And we ran into a bunch of sliders up here by the train yard. So once we've got the picture of the mimic and, uh, investigated the swamp, we'll just put a little marker where we think we're going to go. Um, then we'll head up and, uh, see if we can take out a slider and get a core there i ran into i think four sliders last time so there should be enough up there let's just do one final check yeah i think we're good and a food yeah we got some bars we got an energy drink we got a flare off we go we have an extra slot for a weapon Might be easier to photograph the mimics at the block post. Nah. There's a lot of um, a lot of a lot of other entities on the way to the block post and there. Whereas in town in in Balutki, there's only the two mimics and maybe two fragments and a dark fragment. Oh, look at that! Right where we won't want to start, really been starting us off further further east so this is good we got lots of light five a.m. get our probes start probing I had been going down the road and then veering off, but I found that um, skirting around behind the supply depot here seems like it's much faster to get to the swamp at least. You don't have to worry, knock on wood, about the fragments in the supply depot or the spawn or multiple spawns at the top of the hill there. So the longer you can go without unnecessary encounters, the better, as far as I'm concerned. There's plenty of opportunity to uh, collect cores. I gotta get practice with my offhand throwing probes. So I use the, you know, 
grip to hold, so I have to hold down the grip the whole time while I'm holding the bag of probes. So I can put a, put a kink in your wrist after a while. And there's a whole lot of probing going on in this game. Because the minute you stop probing is the minute you walk into an anomaly. Is that a, that's an anomaly over there. Although the way this is set up, I gotta switch my probes to my other hand to uh, put them on my arm, which is not ideal, but um, usually that's a pretty easy switch. As we get closer to populated areas, it's guaranteed there's an artifact of some sort down there with all those anomalies, but that's not our Whoa, okay, so that's a web anomaly kind of floating in the air there. Yeah, we did start the mission, so that's good. And it's showing us... Well, that's good, too. It's showing us where we slept. Is that where we slept? Did we sleep twice last time? I thought I slept in the... That's interesting. Thought we were looking at the train yard. Well, we'll follow the eastern shore regardless. I thought I slept uh, more up towards the top of the swamp, but maybe I was wrong. Okay, we got a couple fragments coming at us. There's one, and the other one's not too far behind. Whoa! <laughs> we actually hit our other knife. Good to know that that's a possibility. So where was that uh, web? Don't see it anymore. They're kind of wispy, but let's keep moving. This is the road down here. Not sure where those fragments came from. There are usually some a little further up the road. Maybe that's them, maybe not. How are we going to get down? Let's just drop down over here. Hopefully it's not going to alert. anyone unnecessarily. There's an anomaly right in the middle of the road and another one on that side. So we'll see. Okay, I'll just find the edge of this one. That one already expanded. The anomalies can be up in the air there's one near the construction site that's kind of like that, hard to see. It's not on the ground on the road, it's kind of hovering 12 feet up. Storm coming through, it's no big deal. That We're just heading up the road and going to turn off. Left. Right now we're heading along this road, kind of going away from where we need to, but that's fine. This is how we maintain our bearings. Should have been assigned to Vano, I thought. I guess we missed it. Bolotki Village. I mean, I don't, I don't know. There are going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be some resistance in here. I don't like going in here necessarily in this visibility. And there's definitely a lot of anomalies on the road here. Oh, 
Hopefully this clears up before long. I know we can't stay on the road because there's basically anomalies blocking the road a little further up. And we don't actually want to go to Bolutki Village anyways. Oh, or maybe we do. That's where the mimics are. I can't remember. I think we'll go for the SKS. Then we'll go for the mimics. Then we'll... I mean, that's a bad idea. We should probably just go for the mimics right away. Get that picture done. Get them taken out. Okay. Don't see that fragment yet. Hear him now. Somewhere oh, oh there he is. Just the one. You want to keep an eye out for spawns when you're in a situation like this. So that you don't get flanked while you're taking out the the noisy uh, opponent. So that's kind of heading to the side there. Another one coming. Another two coming. Okay, that one, uh... I was hearing something behind me. Should I thought we had another core. Where'd our other core go? Are there two up there? That's odd. Was that our first core? I guess so. All right. So. What to do, what to do. We should take out the mimics first. It's silly not to get the mission done. Actually, we don't even have to take them out. We just have to uh, take a photo of them, but you know, it's hard to take a photo of... It's hard to get the drop on Mimics. That's for sure. Are those not on the road? I could swear that this road was blocked with anomalies. Maybe it's further up. You don't want to probe those types of anomalies. They're going to shoot lasers back. This is weird, man. This looks really uh, different than I'm used to. Okay, there's one little shack down by the uh, swamp. Okay, we're kind of close to that anomaly. Okay, like I said, there's usually a fragment in Bolutki. There, there's the fragment. Still got our knife? No, so that's one thing we didn't do. Sorry, I was just gonna look through the there's a spawn over there. We didn't refill our our knife. So that's on us. That spawn is probably coming over this way. That's usually what they're doing if they're on the move. Okay. I like to snipe mimics, but to get a photo, I don't know if that's going to be viable. Let's see if I can spot the fragment. Okay, let's just get away from this uh, anomaly. In case that spawn runs up on us, don't want to be 
right beside an anomaly. Now mimics do kind of patrol. I don't know what the waiver is here on the rifle. Doesn't seem right. That's better. Okay. Not seeing anybody at the moment. Usually we skirt around the right here. The, the fragment usually catches us out. Maybe we'll try something different. Maybe I'll try going into this farmhouse, seeing if I can get on the uh, shoot from inside the farmhouse, take a picture. I say farmhouse, but this isn't a farmhouse, just a village. So we'll just try inside this house. Oh, he's totally gonna, he's totally gonna come up to us now. Yeah, that's probably gonna trigger the mimics. So let's get the camera out just in case. What? That's a jam. Is that the, the magazine that jammed? That's the case. We want a different magazine. Okay, let's get the camera out. Let's stick with our plan of going into the house. See if we can spot the mimics from in here. Usually, oh, there's another fragment coming over. Two of them here. That's new. I like being in the house though. Let's see how this works out. We can't get up to the roof as, or the up there from the inside or I, I tried and I couldn't. Oh, he's gonna reform. Let's get out there. Okay. What's with this, uh, I thought we just cleaned this gun. Oh, maybe not. What's the condition like? Whew. In the yellow. That's no good for sliders. We don't have our cleaning supplies either, so that is what it is. Okay. Oh, well, there's a spawn. Kind of exposed here. I want to have the camera out in case we spot them. These houses start screaming. Is he coming over? Yeah, he's coming over. I think that's his alerted sound. Or not. All right, if that's the case, we're going to head over. Oh. Spawn was up here now. Don't see it. Going to head over here. Try not to get hit by any anomalies. That spawn's caught up on the Jeep. That's fine. I think it lost us. If we don't have to engage the Mimics, we won't, because there's just nothing in it. I think we have two Mimic cores. I 
see the haze over there. I also don't want to get too close to the swamp right now. Because it's just going to alert other unsavories. I'm going to get the tiger into its stock and we can just drop the camera maybe if we have to engage. Try to stay low over here. That's a fragment. Figured we would have seen one of the mimics by now. Oh, that's one there. I think. It's definitely one. That's a nice shot. So. We're gonna see if we can disengage here. head for where we know there's no anomalies. I'm gonna switch away from the tiger. We'll keep moving. If they chase us, they chase us. We'll stay low. Should be able to take them out with the OC. And then keep in mind that it might jam on us. Again, if you have those cores back at your base, there's no uh, no benefit to engaging. Just risk. Okay, let's do a little run back down. We're a bit in the open here, but almost out of the town. Count my chickens though. So into the swamp we go. Okay. I think this is probably 
the house it says we stayed at, although maybe not. I thought we stayed at the one further, further north. Actually, I'm almost certain of it. So we just got to stick to the eastern edge of the swamp here. Although 1600 hours. Looks like we're going to be staying up at the next safe house or just in the brush. But let's push on. Like I said, we're going to stay on the eastern side here. As we get further north, there are sliders. That's a that's a spawn. No, I don't want my knife. Did we kill it? I think we killed it. A bit hard to maneuver in here. That's not going to be the last one. Okay. I don't think we can we get around these anomalies on this side. Just barely. slow sleep is low but sun's almost down anyways so we'll find somewhere to bed down continue when the sun's back up stay low here Okay, there's the other safe houses up there, where I thought the swamp ended. But it turns out there may be more. Is that a slider? I think it is. Let's try and take it out. see anything from that angle. No core from that one. So it seems like there's a bit of a little bay over here. No, we, we looked at this place before, but I guess maybe we didn't go far enough up. Swamp continues up there, and we just didn't go. So... Uh. Yeah, we're getting sleepy. So what we'll do is we'll head into the safe house here, have a rest, and we'll continue up into the swamp over there. All right. Nice and cozy. Close that door. All right, let's wake up at 6 a.m. Sounds good. Ah, all right, need some food. Let's grab one of these biddles. Mmm, tasty stuff. Watch that come back up. So that should do pretty good. Got our knives. Let's reload our uh, magazines. It just goes and goes.
Is that it? That's pretty good. 22 rounds left. All right, let's head back out. Get our probes. Ha! Huh. Don't like this visibility, but there it is. So again, we're gonna try to hug the eastern shore. So we'll head this way. Yeah, I thought this was the corner. I, th I thought that boat where they were talking about shooting barrels was the uh, was the corner of the swamp. I didn't venture up this far north. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna stay low and maybe some sort of anomaly. Stay on this side if we can. Try to keep out of the radius of whatever that thing is. Okay, so I'm assuming we can't stand up really, which is going to be a bit tricky if uh, we run into a spawn or something. We might just opt to shoot it. We also don't don't want to cause a ruckus over here. Okay, that's pretty uh pretty eerie. Sigil. Still within the radius of this thing. I don't see a boat yet. Still quite a bit further. This is probably as far north as we've been so far. This looks like more or less the end of the swamp, but we thought that before. How far is this going? Okay, so we're past that. Let's just have a look on the hill here. Try not to get too close. I don't see a boat. Might be in the center of all that, but let's just peek over here. Check the map actually. So, could be going through this section here. No, we slept there. So, it could just be over here. Seems like it could be up over there too. Let's just check there first. 
Actually, we can just get up here maybe and have a look and then go back down. So we should see there it is. There's the boat. So can we get down over here? That's probably a fall. That's probably a fall. Let's go back down where we came in. So that's our target there. You can see the boat right there. And we're about about up there, I think. Somewhere in there. After this, I guess we're going slider hunting, which... Though we can take them out with the tiger, I don't mind trying to headshot the sliders with the tiger, with the, with the, uh, with the OC in need of repair. They take a lot of shots. It's almost guaranteed to have a... Uh, have a misfire of some sort with the amount of shots a slider takes and the condition of the OC. Okay, let's skirt around the edge. I like staying low because I think that goes a long way. Even though it's slow, it goes a long way to the preventing detection. At least in my experience. We are going real slow in the water though. Here is the boat we've spent so much time looking for. And then there's definitely something in there. I don't know if we can. There's our magazine. Ooh. And there's our SKS. Is there a fire selector? Uh, I'm not sure which one of those is live. We'll have to check. And how do we... Oh, up here. There we go. We got a bayonet. We're locked and loaded. So, let's, uh, I guess maybe we'll try this out. Cheaper ammo than the, than the tiger. Okay. Let's also get a misfire and then we'll have to, we'll be in. We'll be in the soup. Well, actually, let's check the condition first. If it's really bad. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. We've got that in our stock. So we'll go like this. We're going to need the... Uh... Can we go this way? Check our map. We should be able to go this way and down. Go slow. That's the way we'll, we can avoid whatever that weird kind of radial anomaly is. Oh, let's go back to the radial anomaly. <laughs> that was slow yet easier to avoid than uh, 
electrical traps. Not gonna lie. I don't want to probe out those electrical traps. Stats are good. Are we not getting over this? Okay, let's crawl down. Uh, kind of an odd thing to get hung up on. Let's try that again. Let's put our probes away. Maybe we have to Can't even climb up this thing. Try to glitch our way through it a bit. No, not letting us go. That's kind of odd. Can we get up here? No. Hmm. Go from here. No. We are stuck. Can we get up here? Nope. Okay. Let's see if we can find a way to. Whoa. That's not what we want. Let's see if we can find a way to climb up. Climbing up is actually less uh, risky than climbing down. Climbing down seems to be just a uh, roll of the dice sometimes. But I would think we could get up here. No. No, nothing to grab. Okay, well, maybe let's try running. all of a sudden turn into a silly place. Well, let's see. Um, we'll give it a save. And then there's an option to unstick. And resume. Did that do anything? Let's try that. Oh, it says we're unstuck. So I guess we can't do the unstick. Well, that's a curiosity. What if we, no, we can't even physically step over there. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back the other way, I guess, through the electrical traps, because it's our only option now, unless we can climb up here. probes back yeah so not there not there This is where we ran into sliders previously. It's pretty open. I'm not seeing any. Although, I'm not sure how we get down. Looks like silhouettes over there, or trees. Back in the water, heading south, that's what we want. Just 
have to remember that um, if we don't get a shot, it's uh, it's because the rifle's probably on safe. So I'm not sure what's toggled. Was that that seemed like a slider teleport right there? Yep. I don't like these sights as much. We're in the open now. That was another teleport. That looks like one right there. But I can't, couldn't tell you. There's a fragment too. such thick brush there I don't see it's just kind of going random there oh that was that that was maybe our opportunity Fast enough. There he is down there. Okay, so it was on safe. That sounds so quiet. No core though. Where's that next one? Here. Maybe another one there? Yeah. Let's push up. course for all these yahoos Let's see do we say how many rounds are in here no Five of ten. Okay. So we got ammo left. Just make our way south. We didn't actually take on the 
a slider mission. So we're not on the hook for it. We could just head back with the SKS and the um, Mimic photo. But I did run into, I think, four of them up here the last time I was up. But 16, if we hurry, we can get back today. So I think we'll try to do that because I'm not going to just troll around for sliders. Sounds like a mimic, or not a mimic, a uh, spawn. But, yeah. They get caught up on all this foliage, I guess. So I've found multiple times you can just run up on them. But we do have to keep an eye out and keep our direction, which is this way. We don't want to go too close to the village. We want to be going south now. There's our kind of safe house, boat house at the corner where we came in. It's going to get a little dark, but um, I think we should be able to make it. We're not too overburdened. We basically head south till we get to the road and then head uh, well there's the road there we could follow the road we kind of did that before but let's uh let's just get a little further out from the village before actually getting on the road we did take the road in so it has the advantage of us having killed the fragments along the road not so much spawns there could still be a spawn that was over here but um, we shouldn't run into any major resistance on the road now oh, okay yeah there was a an anomaly it's, it's really easy to get impatient on the way out but you take damage, it's going to eat into your bottom line. So slow and steady wins the race in the radius or in the zone. I think we should be smooth sailing from here. And then I think we'll have some, some gun cleaning to do. Okay. Never use up all your stamina, or I try not to. Just because if a spawn attacks, you want to have enough stamina to kind of do the shimmy. And a juke side to side so that their leap misses and then they're, they're pretty easy to take out. Oh, there's one coming now. Just let them miss, or make them miss, I should say. And then rush up and stab them. They're kind of, kind of just sit there for a good five seconds after they leap. that you know we got the, the mist in sight and we, st we still got a little bit of light it's not dark now I don't even think there's any uh, anomalies on the road here on the way out but we don't even have enough stamina to get there without um, without it running out so we'll just do kind of the 
the slow walk. We didn't bring any cigarettes to smoke, but um, so is that a car over there? What is that? That's curious. Should we just check that out while we're here? An old old rail car is it? No, it looks like I don't know, maybe a tank even. Can we get on it? Doesn't look like it. Seems a bit too close to the the mist to be anything of much value. See any uh, any loot? So it just seems like flavor. I'm sure, it's to scale, but it looks like kind of a dinky bayonet. sure that we took any damage there I'm trying to remember no we are full that's a rare visit into the zone where we come out with without having taken a hit took out two sliders although one was just standing still engaged took out at least one dark fragment engaged uh, mimic and uh yeah, doing all right. So let's turn in our camera. Delivery. Species research. Photo of a mimic. It's not like we could take the film out or anything. $200 camera. Well, 700 bones back. Okay. See what other missions we can turn in. We'll uh, go on to. All right, let's. We're gonna find a place to stack paper. Maybe we'll stack paper here, just to keep it kind of out of the way. Or maybe in a drawer. That'd be good. But we'll get to that another time. Just wanted to clear this off a bit, so we can have it for actually doing some uh, some weapons cleaning. Detectors, probes, that's a good spot for those. This doesn't need to be there. This can uh, this can actually be up here. And we'll put one of our energy drink on our food shelf. That is empty. So we're going to be selling that. Going to be selling that. Let's may as well take these cores out. Not a single... Um, I want to know if I pick this up, is it going to drop all the cigarettes? Okay, I just wanted to put it a little further in, maybe a better angle. It's a great ashtray, but okay, so now we got to place these in. Oh. Whoa! Trying to trying to stay clean here. Whoa. Okay. How do these they work pretty good before? I 
Well, that's not bad. We kind of put them in like that and then let them drop, but it's just not working now. What about back here? That's better. All right, much better. And we'll see if we can stack our smokes behind there too. Sort of. That, that almost worked. It's like a looks like an invisible clipboard there. What about on their sides? I'm fine. It's on their sides. Okay, that's good. Later can be down there. Oh right, now we have a little bit of better. Can we can we sell a dirty patch? I thought that would disappear. You know what? It probably does disappear. You just have to keep using it. Where did it go now? Okay. That's odd. We still have a dirty patch up there. Is it just going to be there forever? What is that? I, I don't know. I don't know where that dirty patch went. Oh, down there. Okay. So we'll actually try to use that now. We'll put this garbage back in here. Okay. Just trying to clean up here. There's our patches. There's our brush. There's our paper towels. Okay, so now we're ready to get to cleaning. Okay, so put that in our in our vise. Kind of tricky with the vise. Has to be at the at the right angle, I guess. Um. It is, okay, so let's get one of those. Oh, we can't actually, oh, we have one on already. So, is this actually gonna clean it? Ooh, that looks dangerous. Oh no, it's in the yellow, so we need to do the spray and brush. Ay ay ay. Help me out here, game. Don't mess up my gun rack. Nope, don't want to do it that way. Wanted to... Okay. That's awkward, but that's what the zone does to you. Now that's what we wanted to pick up to put it over here. Okay, that stuff's all clean. Let's... Give it a spray. Brush some of this dirt off. All that dirt coming off it is looking cleaner already looking pretty good what's the condition now we are in the yellow still which means we still got some brushing to do maybe we have to have our hand close yeah I'm not sure how the WD-40 works. Like, do you have to keep applying it or it's one? So I think it does that shine when it's in improved a bit. No, we got a ways to go. But we're not getting the shishy shishy sound anymore. So let's give it another. Okay, getting some flakes coming off. We're gonna have to do this to um, the OC as well, because it's in rough shape. But we'll finish up with the... I 
SKS here if we can, although. Taking a while to get it to uh, the blue condition, or yeah, the blue condition. Let's try it. More broader strokes. Still in the yellow. Still got flakes coming off. You know, I have the inclination to like fast brush, you know, like you're really getting dirt out, but that's just more tiring. I just put a stain on my wall. Good, that disappeared. I guess I just stabbed the wall. I don't know if that actually takes the condition down. So that looks like it got a bit nicer there. It's so hard to tell when it actually goes up in condition. You gotta keep checking, I guess. Unless I just hold it and do it. Which I suppose is plausible. Although I wouldn't have my finger on the trigger and it wouldn't be you know, fully loaded with a round in the chamber in the action. Hot. We're not getting the shushy shushy sound anymore. Why not? And no flakes are coming off. I mean, oh, there we go. It's really kind of a mystery. I mean, I know that it works eventually, but I don't know if you have to do different parts of the weapon or just any part, or if it's a timer. Takes a while though. We should be getting into the blue. Just make sure we're not doing anything wrong here. Yellow to blue condition with oil and a brush. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh. Maybe we have to like go off and on more. Maybe that's what triggers it. Did that get us into the blue? Well, something just... Oh, we're into the blue. Sweet. Okay. So let's do that for the next one. We'll go the kind of off and on. So we've got our cleaning rod. That looks like it would hurt our thumb. But that's all right for now. We're going to just keep doing this until the patch comes off like that and then we're going to use the rest of this patch that we were going to throw away and I think you are unable to insert the rod anymore when it reaches 
um, perfect condition. Now somebody was telling me you can just kind of go back and forth like this, which does seem like it's generating a lot of debris there. Maybe that's faster. I've, um, I've always learned that if you're cleaning a barrel, you want to do so, you know, in long, even strokes. Okay, nothing's coming off now. I wonder if it's fully clean or fully conditioned. It is. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Got to watch what I'm grabbing. No, I want to grab this thing. I did. Ah! Okay, now it's in the floor. Um, we'll just forget that's there. So that's good. Perfect condition. SKS. Uh, maybe we should take that down for now. And we'll put it on the rack. It always wants to grab them. By the grip. Okay, so now we really got to do the uh, the OC. We'll turn the laser off. I think we have to unlock attachments. Oh, they're unlocked. I guess when we hit info, it unlocks them. Is that how that works? Okay, so now we'll just put it in there. We're in the yellow, so we're back to this. This time, we'll try the method of a little brushing. And then take it off, a little more brushing, take it off, just uh, there, that's a better position. We don't even need this in the vise, we'll go this way. So when it makes a noise, we'll remove it, and then we'll go back in. And I'm hoping that that will trigger it to clean more. Check our condition again. Oh, it's got a ways to go. We're going to be here forever. You know, just skip ahead, and if I'm still here brushing, well, it's not done yet. Do we need more? WD. spending a fair amount of time here it's almost midnight but our stats are good where are we at on condition here ways to go Did I just fire that? <laughs> That's odd. Got a little smoke. I think I just popped off around there. My, uh, my right controller, I think, hit the trigger on my left one just from the brushing motion. That's why you don't clean guns loaded with your finger on the trigger. At least we got good, uh, good muzzle control. Always have your gun pointed at the zone. Where are we at here? Oh, it's barely moving. It's painful.
Yeah, it actually covers it, which is uh, impressive. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong. Not enough oil, not enough coverage or something like that. You can actually see the oil, uh, you know, get used up or it doesn't really evaporate, get worked in. All right, I think that, I think that moved up somewhat. I mean, this is almost as labor intensive as cleaning actual weapons, oddly enough. I would not have expected that from a VR game. Still in the yellow. We won't be cleaning the tiger tonight. We'll finish off with the OC and then we'll see what other missions we can turn in because we do have some cores here and some artifacts. Almost there. So I would think that we could probably get another mission or two turned in from what we already have. We got spawn cores, fragment cores, and some night eye artifacts. Okay, not quite yet. Which is odd because the, the weapon is looking pretty clean at this point. Whoa, lots of dirt on the grip. Whoa, how did we get to... Okay. Thought we had to clean out the barrel, but apparently not. Put our attachments back on. Alright. We'll uh, lock those in place. Locked. We are still on single shot. That's what we want. Okay, so... What else? I mean, did we pick up anything else? I don't just, I'm going to sell that, but let's see what other missions we can turn in. Put the tiger over our shoulder, just because that's where we kind of expect it to be. Missions. Dark cores. Yeah, so what's this going to be? Two mimic cores. Ooh, no, we turned in our mimic cores or they expired. So... Turns out we can't turn in any other missions. We don't have any. I thought we had two Mimic cores, but um, maybe we turned them in or maybe they just fizzled out. But that being the case, uh, I guess we're done for today. Got a nice... Uh, let's actually put our Tiger on the rack here with the others. Whoa, that's dangerous. That's dangerous too. Let's try that again. This is 
One of the trickier things to do in the game is get weapons seated on this rack. Scope makes this one a bit tricky, I think. Got to get a good angle. Uh, that might be the best we're going to get. Well, this has been Into the Radius. Played on an Oculus Quest 2 through Virtual Reality Desktop. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Any tips, tricks, feedback, anywhere I could improve, all that good stuff is appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.